time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Friday, March 15th. Everybody's doing well. S&P down 33, NASDAQ down almost 200. Russell up six and a half, Dow mm -hmm. down 180. Gold a little bit lower, silver up one and a half percent. Notes and bonds a little bit mixed. 10-year yield pretty flat. Oil slightly lower, natty gas down a little over 4%. Grains mixed, euro and the pound flat mixed. <clears throat> Bitcoin slightly higher, just above 70,000. VIX 14.73, had a little excursion to the 15 handle, but back, back where it feels safe in the 14s. What's up? I, uh, what's up? I've got the Wooga on, and then I also just entered another re-entry. So my re-entries today, I got stopped out of one without hitting profit target, uh, and then the other ones I've hit 60% on all three. Unfortunately, the one I got stopped out on was the biggest of the four. And then my... Challenge portfolio is killing it. Had uh, had one that I reduced my stop and hit profit target, so I got out of that for small profit. And then the other two are still still rolling. And then my one DTE, which is not on here, uh, hit forty five percent. Not bad. Not too shabby at all. Pretty good day. Yeah, so for me, I was, man, I feel like I played today a little differently than I've traded in a long time, honestly. Like, I was just super cautious today, um, very picky about my entries. Sometimes I feel like uh, the success I had October through January caused me to be a little reckless. And uh, so only three trades today. Um, one was a winner. I closed it out before getting stopped out, which is something I don't usually do, but I would have gotten stopped. And then my second one still to be determined. And then I have one power hour trade on right now. So, but currently up a little over three grand. Looked like it was going to get down and dirty, but we never even made it yeah. down to the lower expected move. Uh, yeah, Quanteo, same as Wuga, 3020s. I I just don't like the, the trending price movement that it had today. Like the big move up that started about nine o'clock central. And then a big move down that started about 50 minutes later. So I've been happy with being really careful like I was today. So this is my Wooga plus the other re-entry that I just got into. On my... Challenge portfolio, here's my one-to-one -one ratio, half of it that I've got left. And then my 3-2, here's half of it that I got left. That's about to be closed out. Let's see. 
And that one is at 85 cents and it's trading at a dollar 15. So a little bit more decay and that one will come off. Challenge portfolio up a little over 6% today. About 9,100 bucks. My other account, oh, I did get hit on JSP. So those did not survive the flush. So that was about a $2,700. So my, so my non-challenge portfolio accounts, pretty flat actually on zero DT. Got a couple of time flies, one of which March 22 was up a few hundred, up about 3%. And the March 28 has been, it's 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 at f about 5%, I would say, depending on where you get filled to close it, maybe a little bit less, but I'm just, I'm just going to hold. I mean, if it makes any bit of a decent move, well, Move down would be better, but yeah, I don't like the price movement I'm seeing right now. Just slowly continuing upward. Oh, and then my futures big day in the futures another five k on those. I booked a uh, short in the Nasdaq right out of the gate. If you're on the morning stream, you heard me on that one. Got made thirty nine hundred on that. Uh, I jumped back in, but I didn't want to go NQ because I figured I'd give it all back. So I went MNQ. It got smaller. Still got a few short micros. So that one's down. I booked a little bit. So that one's down about two something. Booked 950 on gold and 850 on oil. I was going to put on another duck if we got down to the expected move. And I was also going to enter a VXX vertical if we got down to the expected move. And then we just bounced, never got there. And then Vol started crushing. I also put on a, uh, I was talking about this in the <clears throat> morning stream. I put on a, just kind of a test. It's a one DT. It's, 3 DTE and NDX because there was no zero DTE. So that one's up just a couple hundred. I was just curious how that would, with 10 wide wings, one DTE, or in this case, three DTE, how that would act, but not as much decay as I'd hoped, Not especially not compared to our normal one DTE trade. Actually, gonna just put in an order to take this off. Let's try to get three twenty. Uh, yeah, Dark Avenger. No, no trailing. It's just fixed. And then correct. Once it hits 45%, it's out. Yeah, Kelvin, I'm just doing two for this month. And then I'm, uh, I haven't decided yet, but next month I might scale that up a little bit. With two contracts, I'm typically risking anywhere from eleven, twelve hundred ish. If it closes outside the range, so I'll, I'll probably scale that up to three or four next month.
about 50 cents, uh, 50 cents still to get out of 20% of my power hour trade. <laughs> Yeah, so my NDX, here's my, so I've taken, oh, where's my number of trades? Oh, it's not there. Anyway, a little over 63% win rate. Uh, about 3,000, almost 3,000 bucks. But some of these earlier ones that I was taking, I was kind of layering into a couple of them in the same day and I was doing them a little bit different. So based on the way I'm just doing it now, just putting it on, letting it expire, it's probably a little bit higher win percentage and a little bit higher overall profit. so far. So it's not an up day or a down day, so not doing my three tranche power hour, but I did just enter that uh, re-entry on the 30 calls and 15 puts right as we were joining. And then I've got Wooga, so this is a combination because I'm sharing the 5130 uh, call strike, so this is both of them together. Almost going to hit my, ah, I need about 20 cents. Yep. I'm about 20 cents away as well. Need it to kind of stay down, don't need it to rip up. And I'm a dollar away from 40% of my lunchtime number one that I put on. So that one definitely needs some down movement. So, Waterman, they're with on quad witching days, NDX and rut, they do not have. Um, yeah, it wasn't a toss glitch. There is no zero DTE if you look go. at your option chain. Yeah. There we yeah. Go. They have the AM expirations every quarter. Like if you look at, uh, 34 days out, you'll see that they have the, they have the AM expiration, the ones that expired this morning. But for whatever reason, there's no PM zero DTE expirations on at the end of each quarter or quad witching expiration quarters. Or excuse me, every month they do that once a month. Got filled on half my power hour. So that makes me feel better. Still need some down movement. By the way, the... Uh... You know, I was on the morning stream, I was, I had to manually enter 
some trades. I thought it, there was an, well, I guess there was a, an issue for a couple minutes with trade steward, but uh, the reality is, is that the way that trade steward looks at the opening VIX, it was showing that it was contracted. And so that's, so it basically was filtering out my trades based on my VIX filter is what I came to realize when I looked at the bot activity logs. Yeah, there was an outage, but that's not why my bots didn't fire. So it's showing that the overnight gap in VIX was minus 2.336%. <clears throat> or remember it was VIX had contracted until like that 15 minute freeze. And then the, and then stocks really started dropping. And so VIX ended up being up to open the day. <clears throat> the overnight move was up, which would have qualified those trades, but Based on, excuse me, based on where Trade Steward had the VIX opening, they had it still contracted. Well, that's a good point, Michael Todd. <clears throat> so here's what it, uh, so here's on my, like my one DTE iron condor has a 0.25% VIX filter overnight move. And it's showing the overnight gap here of minus 2.36. Oh, well, what's interesting though is then about a, oh yeah. Oh, I didn't see this before. So at 9.31 and 16 seconds, it was showing overnight VIX gap was up 2.15%. And then two minutes later, it showed VIX overnight gap was minus 2.36. And then it does show that there was some, some errors, but so I don't know. I'm not sure what the... I just ended up manually entering them anyway, so all worked out. Just got, just got filled on uh, 40% of my lunchtime number two, or lunchtime number one, sorry. My two, three in my challenge portfolio just got closed out at 95% profit. Still just holding the uh, one to one ratio, which is nice and centered.
Uh, does Trade Steward track your total open max risk? Um, no. I mean, it, it shows your buying power available and everything, but same thing as Toss would show you here in the upper left. Hit half my 20% on my re-entry, closed half. In the sectors, tech is down, healthcare down, semiconductors slightly red, regional banks and Bitcoin up, oil up, retail slightly up. The biggest movers on stocks, Adobe and Ulta had earnings, Adobe down 14%, Ulta down four, Airbnb down three, Amazon down two, Meta down two. Riot blockchain up eight. Tilray up seven and a half. Coinbase up 4%. Nvidia up one. NVIDIA took a break this week of hitting new all-time highs. Yeah, I saw that. So did the NASDAQ. And I guess SPX did too. Came close. A few days. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Didn't push through though. But I mean, you know, the day's not over. We yeah, could have right. a 70 point rally. No kidding. I just seem to be out before that happens. I was really happy I traded today. So. I need to string together more days like this consecutive. Um, I don't even know, Krish. I don't even know why I have it on there, to be honest. I think it's uh, 21 day. Doesn't mean anything to me.
the V-slap is not a visual indicator, Wuga. It's uh it's, it's too sophisticated to go on a chart. Yes, that's, that's correct. Wuga is up about 10%. Yeah, just you want to keep that to yourself, Morrow. It's a family program. Where's your Wuga sitting at? Is it pretty centered? Wuga is up about 13%. Uh, it's under the 15 strike. So I'm on, oh wait, no. I'm on the 20, 30. I've, I've got a shared strike here. Yeah, it's under the 20 strike. Oh, gotcha. So I'm on the 20, 30s. Okay. Oh, thank you, Krish. Not set my little alarm, so I forgot. It is 2.15, so I got to do my 6.7. Thank you for reminding me. I just posted my six, seven. Next up here in about 10 minutes, I'm going to do the three, six. Next week, don't forget, we will be graced by everyone's favorite, Jerome Powell on Wednesday.
the FOMC statement and press conference. Monday, nothing. They got there's a housing market index, low impact. So hopefully Monday will be a good Monday. Tuesday, pre-market building permits, but can't imagine that's gonna be too crazy. Wednesday, FOMC, Thursday, unemployment claims pre-market, and then Flash Manufacturing and Services PMI 15 minutes after the bell opens. And then Friday, our buddies Barr and Bostic speak. Bostic's not till after the market closes. Barr is at 11 a.m. Central. SPX coming down a little bit. Uh, AN, check my trade plan. So I do two trades during F. So I don't trade in the morning because the theta usually is non existent as far as decaying goes. So I don't trade in the morning and then I don't trade power hour. Uh, so I just, I do two FOMC trades. One is I'm selling premium right before the statement comes out. So that would be at one o'clock central time. So right before that, I uh, sell premium, sell an iron condor. And then I, as soon as the press conference, a little after the pr press conference starts, I close that out for whatever, whatever it gives me. And then um, shortly after the press conference starts, I put on a long strangle by premium to try to capture some of the move. The idea is a lot of times you get a decent volatility contraction after the data is released, but the movement isn't too crazy. So it benefits the iron condor. And then most of the movement happens either during or after the conference. And so we're buying some premium to try to take advantage of that move. Just got filled on 40% of power hour number one. Oh, I'm there too. Wuga's up about 24%. Uh, 
All right, I need to get ready for my three six. I really need to duplicate how I traded today. <clears throat> it's definitely doing wonders for my weekly PL. Just being more cautious. Yep. Just more cautious about entries. That's the, that's the big thing. That could have easily entered throughout that big drop down and then the reverse up. Well, this push-up's got to be helping your wooga, huh? Le wooga? Is that Didn't about you? 24%? Yep. It's in good shape. Centered. Yeah. centered. Yeah. Just posted my 3.6. In the calendar channel. Next up here in about 15 minutes, I'll do my four or five. VIX just getting obliterated. Down a dollar. From the peak. Yeah, on that uh, four or five double diagonal because you get a credit a lot of times. I always, I just, I don't put a profit target in. I just, I hold it until at least Monday. And then I, then I decide on what my, I want my profit target to be. Depending on how it's acting. What do you got going on this weekend, Chadwick? Uh, got a surprise birthday party for my cousin in Marysville, Kansas tomorrow. Mm. 
And then I'm going to be the Sunday morning. I'm going to stay there. And then Sunday morning, I'm going to go set up some ground blinds and listen for turkeys. Oh, very nice. March 25th, opening day. Is that opening day in Missouri or Nebraska? Nebraska. Nebraska. Yeah. That's always earlier, right? Yeah. Yep. You know what you got to do this year, right? Get a blind? No, you got to mow. Oh, yeah. No, I've already got... I got my tractor all tuned up, ready to roll. I've already done a little mowing. Good. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to... I just got to... It's got to be dry for several days in a row. I, I might yeah. be able to do it this weekend, actually. You know you can go till dark this year, right? I did not. Yeah, they changed the rule. You get turkey hunt until dark. Hmm. So you can go down there in the afternoon, sit in there, call, try to get something to come in, which is a good time oh, to do that. Interesting. Yeah. Yep. New rule in the state of Missouri. Where are you at, E. Allison? Spokane. I've spent some time <laughs> in Spokane. I like that. I like that area. I grew up in Missoula, Montana, so we would go over to Seattle and Spokane. It's kind of our big city, big city uh, vacations. Man, I loved Montana. When I was there this summer. I'll, I'm going up there in May, uh, Mother's Day weekend. Okay. Yeah, we were in Hamilton, which isn't far from Missoula. That's where Jordan's wedding was. It's at the stock farm where they film a lot of Yellowstone episodes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Northeast, I like the North, uh, excuse me, the Northwest in the summer. Yeah. When I moved to, but the, when I first, so I moved to Kansas City when I was 12 and it was like the dead heat of, it was like August, got off the airplane and it was so humid. I was like, I didn't like, I, I couldn't breathe. I was like, <laughs> what is this? What is this hu humidity thing? So there's zero humidity up there. And then little things like, you know, you'd leave the, you'd leave your cereal open and it, and the humidity would like make it all stale and weird. Like we, we've never experienced that in Montana. We didn't know, I didn't know, we didn't understand that whole situation until we'd been here for a while. My last uh, challenge portfolio position is, let's see, it's trading at a buck fifteen. I've got a ninety-five percent order at forty cents to close that one. Good day for the challenge portfolio, which means next week my position size is going to be cranking up because it's based on a percent. Hmm. Luga's up 30%. Still a nine-point move, huh? Expected. I like that. And I should be hitting 60% here. 
I am about I'm still about 60, 60 cents away from 60%. <clears throat> My NDX trade, I've got an order at 320. It's bouncing around that area. Well, I have uh, no wife and no kids this weekend, so I'm oh, not yeah? sure what I'm going to get myself into. Well, it's St. Patrick's Day on Sunday. Oh, Big yeah. 12 tournament in town. There's a lot to do. I, uh, I do have I've got baseball practice Saturday afternoon and Sunday night. But uh, I've got, and then Saturday evening, I'm going over to a guy's place, and we're going to talk some. Uh, we've we've been working with this developer on some automated trading strategies. So that's what happens when the wife and kids go out of town. It gets crazy. <laughs> it gets nuts with automated nice. trading strategies. When's your first baseball tournament? Uh, we've got a scrimmage at the end of March, and then the first weekend of April is our official first tournament. Yeah, ours too. Stone, uh, I haven't seen Stone lately. He's mm -hmm. over two. He's over two ten now. <clears throat> Squats about three fifteen. He hit two baseballs uh, about three ninety. Nice. I mean, he is just strong. He's eating meals. He's taking protein. He's doing speed training with the guy that's really good at North Kansas City High School. Been very happy with his effort in the last since football's been over in the weight room and 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 working on speed. Yeah, we'll go. My the college version of me would not be happy with that situation this weekend. <laughs> 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 I'm grown. I'm a grown up now. I'm, I'm a grown man, I'm mature. Oh, I hit. I hit the sixty percent while we were talking on my lunchtime number one. The Wooga is going to need a bounce back up. I'm just getting down to close to back to even for me. I got filled on my Wooga at 515. Man, my lunchtime number one is dead center and it's got a 25 point range. So about 12 points on each side. I might just let that expire. At the money butterfly trading for only about a dollar. 20 minutes to go. So that's not going to play out for the homes today.
Yeah, I need a little bounce to hit 60% on my power hour trade. Let's see. Are you guys seeing about a dollar ninety debit for the four or five? Is that right? Those of you trading the four or five, yeah, because of FOMC next week. So I'm looking at the on the shorts i'm looking at the 50 55 puts 5180 calls and then it'd be the 5205s and the 5030s yeah that's right and Make sure I don't have any strike overlaps. Fifty two oh five and fifty thirty. All right, I'm good. Build it a dollar eighty five on that four or five. Need a bit of a bounce for my power hour trade. Yep. Need a bounce. I did get... I have booked 40% on that one, so it's still going to be a winner, but. I was so close to getting out of 60%. Four, five, and three, five have been posted. And then the last one I got to do is a three, seven.
That's it. Keep coming up, baby. I just posted a picture of that. My power I trade in my secondary account. That is what you like to see. Fifty ninety five puts. Fifty one fifty calls. All right, all calendars have been posted. A little over 11 minutes to go. Need a little more bounce. Wuga's up 18%. My other position I need. Oh, there it is. 245 hits 60%. Nice. Ah, uh, there we go. 60% on. Power hour number one. MOC will be coming out here in about 10 seconds. So I am ready today. Two point billion to the sell side going short. Wait, what did I just say? Two point some billion to the to the sell side going short. Oh. I thought I heard four point. Yeah, four point two billion to sell side. Did I say two? Yeah. Okay, I'm short four point two billion sell side. At the money fly. Oops. I'm not going to do it, but at the money fly. Trading for. Yeah, only a dollar twenty ish. Uh, still frustrated. I missed yesterday's MOC. I would have made at least 3000 
Not much of a reaction yet. A little bit of a drop, but NASDAQ's coming down a little bit more than S and P. Russell still got some short MNQ futures. Uh, Wuga just closed out. 352. And it looks like I booked $40 on the Wuga. <laughs> it's better than being red. That's right. All right, some short ES futures. I'm looking to take six of 10 off if it gets down to 51.77. Let's get a little flush. A little end of day flush. Challenge portfolio did over 10K today, 10,509. Made money every day today, this week. That's always a good thing. That is always a good thing. What just got, I just got to fill on something. Oh, sold some calls. Looking for the MOC flush into the close. Couple more points down and I'll close six of 10. Like to see a quicker reaction off this MOC number, but let's see. See if we get another little push down. B more trader said we're headed to VWAP, so that means we're definitely going down. <laughs> v slap is going to overpower VWAP. All right, come on, just one little push lower for the kids. Anybody else on the MOC trade? Meet and Elliot. All right, let's go. A little over three minutes.
Dick K, coming back from vacay, hot. Are you back, Dick? Just off the beach to come grace us with your presence for Power Hour. I like it. I already posted the 3-6, Krish. That was my second one. And the 3-7 was my last one. Need a little more push down. At five points, I take off six of 10, so it didn't quite get there for me. It's getting close. It wants it. It wants to eat up that 5177. A little under two minutes. ES75, I'll take that. Come on, hit it. Hit it. It was touching it. One more tick. Hit it. Hit it. Teasing me. Got about a minute. Teased me. So close, a tick, one tick away. If I just would have pulled the trigger one second earlier. Oh, now I'm back to even. Both my lunchtime number one and power hour number one expired today it's gonna they're gonna expire in range three two one exit i lost 125 bucks i was up over 2000 but it was a take away from hitting my profit target on that msc all right ah, well good day great day good day on futures good day in my challenge portfolio okay day on my other account Good day. Oh, no calendars on my calendar account. All right, my friends, everyone have a good weekend. Next week on Monday the 18th, we'll be streaming live for Zero DTE at the Open and back for Power Hour Live. All right, all. Have, have a good weekend. weekend. Take care. Cheers.